Hi, I'm Catherine Bloom. I'm here in central Vermont, and we are here to explore the issues of climate change, peak oil, economic contraction, and meet the folks who are doing something about it. I am a writer, an actor, a climate activist, and I have had the great fortune to travel all over the world and meet people who are also deeply concerned about these issues. I've met Pacific Islanders who are being inundated by rising sea levels. I've met European energy developers who want to get away from coal and nuclear. Met plenty of Americans who are concerned about their economic future. And after all my travels, I've discovered, like Dorothy, there's no place like home. So I'm here in central Vermont. It's a beautiful, green place of abundant fertility and abundant creativity. And it seems also to be a magnet for all kinds of people who are also interested in addressing these questions. How do we create our own energy? How do we create our own food systems? How do we create art and ritual and community, which is all in support of humanity living a healthy, abundant life long into the future? And part of what we're going to do here is we're going to talk to some of these folks and figure out what their secret is. We're going to introduce you to systems thinkers who have figured out how to grow rice in Vermont. We're going to introduce you to people full of compassion who are helping impoverished communities grow their own food. We're going to introduce you to someone who took a handful of seeds and turned it into a multinational corporation. What we're focusing on here are the solutions. People who are actively engaged in making positive change. And we're hoping that these people will inspire you, will provoke you, will make you think, I could do that too. Which ultimately is the most important thing. We all need to be engaged, and you can. So what we're going to do is we are going to explore Vermont. We're going to visit towns, villages, intentional communities, experimental farms. We're going to talk to the people who are looking for solutions. We're going to see if we can find some answers. We're going to get some hope and inspiration, and we are excited to have you come along. One of the questions we're asking here in Vermont is, how do we feed ourselves? As climate change, energy, and economic pressures put a strain on our agricultural systems, we still have to figure out how we're gonna provide fresh, healthy, local, abundant food for all 650,000 of us. Well, one of the people trying to figure out how to do that is a guy named Ben Falk. Ben has this experimental research farm in Moortown. He is a systems thinker a permaculture designer. He's trying to find the answers to questions like, when there's too much water, what do you grow? When there's not enough water, what do you grow? Water flows in here and it sits here. Rice is the only crop that people have managed to grow over and over again on the same piece of land for not just hundreds of years, but for thousands of years. And that is because the, of the water element in the system and the nutrient delivery is via water. Here, with a little line, a little water line, we deliver nutrients in the water to the patties. So the, all of this rice grows on an, the amount of nutrients that can be made by three ducks. We raised all of this rice on three ducks worth of manure last year, not even all their manure. And uh, it's really exciting because we can grow 5,000 pounds an acre uh, from land that can't grow any other grain, which we have a lot of land like that with rice, you know, typical organic wheat yields are 2,500 pounds an acre when they're 5,000 for typical rice yields. So that's twice, twice the, the, um, the production on land that's considered basically waste. Well, all this land shape is, is new, you know, this wasn't the shape of the earth when we got here. This has all been terraced and when you earthwork it and start catching all the water slash all the nutrients, because everything's carried in the water, you could start growing rice, and we can get about 100, maybe 150 pounds of rice in these two patties. Um, and so, you know, it really could be a game changer for our food system here, you know, because it's a carbohydrate crop, you can store it for years, you don't need to freeze it or ref even refrigerate it or even put it in a root cellar. Or, um, you know, it's, it's just food you can live on for years. Mm -hmm. 